Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing on how we can enhance our vocals in a session of Logic Pro or FL Studio. Whatever door you're using, we're going to look at software by the name of Melodyne that is able to take your vocals and enhance them to another level. Everyone struggles with keeping their voice perfectly in pitch. Whether you're a beginner vocalist or you're quite advanced, everyone isn't able to keep that tune perfect. But the good news is that with um, you know software like Melodyne or Autotune, we're actually able to take those vocals and correct them. So today we're going to be looking at how we can t use Melodyne to create natural sounding vocals. Autotune and Melodyne are two very competitive companies and they're, they're good for different things. Autotune has a sound to it. When you hear autotuned vocals, you can tell by you, they have that autotune sound and it sounds a bit unnatural and in a lot of hip hop that's what's used. But when we're talking any other genre, we want natural sounding vocals. So artists like Charlie Puth or Selena Gomez, their go-to plugin is Melodyne because you're able to manually edit the vocals and create them to sound unedited but perfectly in tune. And that's the power of Melodyne. So today we're gonna hop straight into a session and this is a song that I have uh, written and recorded with an artist and I've done raps in the verses but in the chorus um, this artist is singing and we're going to, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how we can understand Melodyne, how we can un understand the key uh, tools and how we can make this vocal just sound amazing and if you have a vocal um, where you are that you need to tune using Melodyne, you don't need to look at any other tutorials, just get your vocal out and follow along with me and we'll tune our vocals and I'll show you the easiest way to use Melodyne. So here we have the unprocessed vocal here. And what we want to do is open up Melodyne. And the first thing that you want to do when you are record when you are using Melodyne is you want to transfer the audio from inside of um, your door into the Melodyne tab here. And so just this button up here, transfer, make sure the light is red, and we're just gonna play through the vocal. One he has chosen, he is yes. the one who has spoken. Also, make sure Melodyne's turned on. One he has we'll chosen, he is yes. the one who has spoken. A hundred billion galaxies of boys. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. I know my God made a pro. Now, this vocal, as you can hear, it's solid. This singer is a great singer, and it's very solid but as you might be able to pick up there are a few imperfections and also not only pitch but um, just some vibrato that is a bit over the top for the setting and we want to go over the top so then when we turn it down a bit in Melodyne then we're actually able to make tight sounding vocals so as you can see Melodyne has transferred this audio in here and it has tuned it uh, to uh, picked out the notes and done a rough sort of gist of where it is so first of all we're just going to put a loop around this vocal and the way I like to do it is I like to do it in sections so as you can see we've got five main sections here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to loop this first part and right there because that's what we're going to be working on first and we'll just solo this vocal for now and as you speak 
So the main main tools in Melodyne that you will need to be using are to simply uh, use Melodyne to tune your vocals and uh, just remove any imperfections is right here. This is our main tool where we can select and if you want to move around, you just hold shift on your keyboard, scroll up and down to move side to side and just scroll up and down to move up and down. So the main tools that we want to use is, as you can see on this main one, we are able to move around the vocal and change it to different pitches. So I'm just going to undo that. The second tool is right here in pitch tools. We have pitch modulator tool and we have a pitch drift tool. And right here we have a tool where we can um, shape the transition between each notes. So I'm just going to zoom up into this one. And the first is the way we can transition between notes. So these yellow lines, as you can see, if we make it sharp, that's just going to be a straight transition and it will sound more of that auto-tune effect. But the more you do, uh, you expand that, it's going to give you a slide effect to the next note. And so I always will try and find a balance in between. And this pitch modulation tool is actually what we're going to be able to bring everything into more alignment. So say this vibrato and we want a bit less, we're going to just take that a bit down. And as you can see, it reduces the vibrato and it also will reduce the amount of um, sort of like out of tune of each note. And the pitch drift tool, let's go find an example where we can use this. As you can see right here, the vocal, it just slightly, if we bring it in a bit, you can see it just comes up at the end. It just pitches up. And if we use this tool, we're able to bring the pitch from the end as it sort of curves up, then we're just able to bring it back down so it stays consistently on the same note. The next tool, uh, the, main, the next main tool is the volume tool. We are actually able to change the volume if say there's a note, uh, this note is fine, but say it is a bit too loud, we're able to turn that note down individually or make it louder. The next tool, main tool you're gonna wanna use is, as right here, you can see that Melodyne has, um, Draw on the pitch, but we actually needed a note where the singer, as you can hear, will just go up to the note. So just listen to this. And, uh, so it's like one, two, but it's just called it as one note. So we're actually able to split these. And here we're able to individually get the notes right. That's a very important tool. So now we know all the main tools in Melodyne, we're going to start and I'm going to show you start to finish um, a process on how you can uh, tune these vocals. So first of all, we're going to listen to our looped area, which is just here. And as you speak, as you can see, we know that that's two notes. We're going to split it. And what I like to do is just select all of it. And right here, you can change the pitch center, which is will snap it all to your scale. So we want snap to scale, and it's picked. Melodyne has picked up that this key is C major that um, this singer is singing in, uh, but it may not always pick that up. So you want to make sure that that's correct, and we are going to snap 100%. You can decide to go somewhere in the middle, but really, if we're going to be using Melodyne, it's because we want perfect sounding vocals. And if you go 100%, it's still going to sound natural. It won't degrade the sound at all. It will just make sure it's 100% in tune. Now we know that we want this, this note down here. And let's give that a listen. And as you speak. Already so much better. Now we're going to get the pitch modulation tool and I always like to bring it down be to about 70%. Just bring it down a bit so 
tames everything and just makes it sound more tight and more on pitch. And as you speak. Great. Now, we can look at uh, the different transitions between notes. I might make this one a bit smoother. But that's good. That's the first part of our vocal done. Now we're going to loop this second part, second section. Right here. A hundred billion galaxies are born. Now again, we want to first split all the notes that need to be split so we have them all separated. And we're going to snap everything into pitch. Now we'll make it, uh, give it another listen to make sure we have, uh, we don't need to change anything. A hundred billion galaxies are born. Sounding good. Now we're going to bring this pitch back in a bit. And the more you bring this in, the more auto tune sound you will get. And you can fix that by changing the transition between the notes. But you want to be careful you don't overdo and... Um, over uh, take the pitch modulation tool and take it all the way down because that will give you really unnatural sounding vocals so as you can see here we want to take that down a bit more and we're going to just bring this back into alignment slightly a hundred billion galaxies are born now as you can see as you can hear it has a bit of that sharp auto-tune effect, so we're just going to smooth that out right there. I'm going to smooth out these transitions. And that will get rid of the auto tune effect. And that's the power of Melodyne. You can't do any of this um, in auto-tune. It's all manual. So it's, it's mostly automatic. And so Melodyne is just so much, gives you so much more freedom. And yes, it may be time-consuming as you have to do this for all your vocals and harmonies but I can guarantee you it is definitely worth it. A hundred smooth that out a bit more. A hundred billion galaxies are born. Smooth out these transitions a little more. A hundred billion galaxies are born. That's amazing. They literally sound, that sounds unedited, yet it's fully in tune. So now we're going to be moving to the next section. And as you do this, you'll get much faster. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. We're going to, first of all, make sure all these notes are already split correctly. So we're going to. Pitch them all in. And we're going to bring all the vibrato in slightly. And as you can see, this is what I mentioned before. The pitch sort of just curves up towards the end. So we're going to bring that in. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. So now we're just going to make the transitions just a bit smoother. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. Now on this form, it's personal preference, but I would prefer it to be feel a bit more stronger. So I'm just going to reduce that. Now we're on to the next section. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. We're going to tune them all. And as you can see here, we want to cut this up. We'll if the stars were Here we go. And as you can see, she's not quite hitting this... So if we retune all that, if the stars were made, actually, I think that we're just gonna keep it all on the same note, as uh, it does sound a bit processed, 
And it doesn't sound quite right if we bring the note up. If the stars were made. So we're just gonna bring it all back down to A. And a trick to do this is we're just going to make the transition very smooth between all of them. And it will sound like the one note. Let's have a listen. If the stars were made to worship so. That, sound, that sounds good. Let's just reduce the volume slightly of this middle part. If the stars were made. Oh, undo that one. If the stars were made to worship. And our reverbs and compression will fix up that slight imperfection as well. Now we're going to bring in the pitch. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. We're just going to make this transition a bit tighter. To worship, so will I. This sounds good. Now we're on to the last section. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. So we're going to snap everything in place. And as you can see, we just need to make the transition a bit sharper. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. We're going to bring in our pitch. Right here, I want this to... Finish on a strong, solid note, so we're going to bring in the vibrato. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. And there you go. And so now, once you have edited all the whole thing with uh, Melodyne, then what I would suggest you do is bounce this audio clip out. So just bounce it in place. And we can bring that over to our processed vocal, which we will have, we have a DSR noise gate, EQ, compression, multiband compression, and here we have some delay, we have some, uh, we have some reverb, and there we have some more delay, and this is what the final product will sound like. One he has chosen, he is the one who has spoken. And that's literally how simple it is to take vocals that are good, but take them to the next level of perfection and give them that perfectly tuned sound without the auto-tuned sound so they sound completely natural. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions on how to use Melodyne anymore, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you and possibly make a new tutorial for you regarding Melodyne. Thanks for watching this video. If it helped you, like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.